I looked you up on, on Wikipedia, and you're you're listed as a uh, stand-up comedian, actor, and impressionist. And I was curious what you feel about that word, impressionist. I, uh, people need words to understand abstract concepts or complex uh, systems of human behavior or natural phenomena. So impressionist is the closest that someone could come to describing what I do. I mean, I don't go out and do an act where I'm like, and okay, and what if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what if uh, what if he was uh, married to uh, so and so? What would that be like? And then I turn around and I don't do that. Yeah, I actually made f- I actually made fun of that on Mark Maron's show uh, of of the guy who, who goes up and the bad like, so what if uh, George Bush yeah went to a <laughs> he they cast me as a guy of comedian. <laughs> They cast me as a comedian that Mark Marin hates, named <laughs> named Brian Berkman. Okay, which is uh, Brian Berkman. I, there's probably a real guy out there, but Brian Berkman to me is the perfect name for like a <laughs> shitty comedian. And I was like Brian Berkman, and then like I, I was like, yeah, what if a Chris? I did the hackiest impressions. I was like, what if Christopher Walken was president? Right, Christopher Walken <laughs> president? Right, you know what that'd be like. Wow, I'm president. Whoa. Because <laughs> I, th- I imagine that's the hardest part of being an impressionist, as you are, is the transition into the impression, right? You know what? You're not – that's actually, yes, a valid concern. And when I started doing stand-up, that was uh, one of my objections. A very close uh, – not a close friend, but a very uh, influential person in my life who's no longer alive was told me to do stand-up. And I was like uh, – uh, I don't like the transitions. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the way stand-ups transition into the, uh, an impression. It seems false, like you're just <laughs> setting up a trick. And he was like, I know. I hate that too. You should do it. Find a way to do it that's funny. So I have just sort of, yeah, I just sort of look for ways to weave in what I what I do. I do like some things on TV, though. I love whenever I get to see Gary Busey anywhere. <laughs> Because of his hilariously ridiculous motivational acronyms. Let me explain something to you people right now. I'm not here to distract you little piglets from the dangers that you face. I am here because I believe in rape. Reaction against predatory enemies. How many impressions do you say you do in 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 an hour? I never counted a lot, I guess. Because you got to like find the jokes within each character. Well, yeah. I mean, part of that is just knowing improv. And, you know, some basic comedy rules that are revealed to you the longer you fail at them. Uh-huh. Rule of three, callbacks, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. Um, heightening. So uh, you come up with the point of view for the character and then the joke sort You want a juicy impression is not just a funny voice. A yeah. juicy impression is a very interesting worldview. That will propel a conversation or a show or a bit in a stand-up act without a lot of work that looks like work. Now, that might sound like a lot of academic words. So what I mean <laughs> is like Jesse Ventura. He's a rich vein to mine. He, uh, uh, Jesse Ventura has A, strong opinions, B, a crazy sounding voice, <laughs> C, he can talk about anything at all from wrestling to conspiracies to current (laughs) politics and any topic that's brought up that's not in one of those things could easily be brought back to it Mm. like well hey jesse what do you think about fashion well i've always been partial to feather boas so (laughs) so, um (laughs) i like i like feather boas and i like a good shaved head with a little bit of ben franklin in the back (laughs) And something really specific. That, that, that's yeah. Specific. And, you know, that's another thing, too, is um, I don't beat myself up about trying to figure out. Like, I I learned this from doing George W. Bush. I would take questions from the audience like it was a press conference. <laughs> and whatever they asked me, I would have a George Bush answer. <laughs> like, I think you just asked your own question. <laughs> and um, oftentimes the question would be easy. You know, it would be something everybody asks one of ten general questions. Uh-huh. But – there was always a wild card at every show. There was always a question I hadn't gotten before. And sometimes there were really complex policy <laughs> questions. So you find yourself actually feeling like George Bush. Exactly. I figured if I don't know the answer to something, there's no way that he does. <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew for certain that I was smarter than the president. Uh. <laughs>